You may ask, what, pray tell, am I doing with a tire? Well, I'm going to show you. Well, tires are weight, and they are great for supplementing your workouts. And then one day, she took a seat on it, and I was like, yes, that is the perfect prop for a photo shoot. And yes, we love doing photo shoots here in the Philippines. And as usual, in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the nightlife, after hours, hanging loose, chilling with bros, dining out, and of course, nightclubs. Oh yeah. But first, let's take a look at some of the day-to-day -day life here in the Philippines. The market gets crowded at night, boy. But that's when all the good deals are. One of the things I really like about Southeast Asia is the ability to go out and shop. You can shop cheap, you can shop whole foods, you can shop organically, and it is just always a vibrant and dynamic scene. There's just no avoiding it on some of these little streets. Well, I mean, <laughs> you could stay at home. Or just, even BGC, man. I mean, there's these flash downpours. It drains fast, though. A little butterfly this morning for breakfast. It's nice. Some days, the office is blue skies. It is so breezy and nice out here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's some hot squid. Okay. Right, here we are on the fantastic SMR Sky Garden deck. Meeting a friend for dinner. There's a couple of nice restaurants here. Checking out a new one tonight. There are so many great little restaurants all over BGC and Makati. You know, there are hole in the walls, there's upscale dining, and then you got ones that are just kind of in between, like this one. Not too expensive, really good food, good portion sizes, and a great ambiance. You just gotta know where to look, and you can get by pretty easily and pretty cheap. Dr. Wine, BGC, crew's all here. Forget about it. Rolling out of H and J, 3 a.m. on a Thursday night with my girl and her honey. It was not supposed to be a publisher night. It was certainly not supposed to be a 3 a.m. night, which it is right now. And it was absolutely 100% not supposed to be a secret door night, which it's about to be. But the nice thing about secret door during the week is no cover charge. I think we got a bottle in there. That's Manila. It's like. But it was a chill night. Like, I did not drink that much. I, I got a good buzz, but just chilling, watching them play pool, having fun, talking shit. My bro was out. We had fun. Even on a Thursday night, you're going to find After Hours jumping off in Manila. It's almost like every night is a nonstop party. Earlier in the week, though, things don't tend to get too popping until much, much later. One of the nice things about heading in early is that it's actually not too crowded, which kind of lets us jump right in and start playing pool. It's easier to sign up, get a run on a table when there isn't a big line of people waiting to play. Filipinas love to play pool and a lot of them are actually really good at it. The other thing they really like to do is dance. So that's what makes this place such a great little after hours vibe spot. You can come in, you can hang out, you can chill, you can shoot some stick, and they've got a decent little dance floor if you want to, you know, get your groove on. I am rarely out anymore on a Thursday night unless I have channel members in town, but I had to meet a friend for dinner. Figured we might get one or two after. It was going to be an early night. Nah, not in Manila. That's just kind of the way it is here. Once you're out, you're staying out. I leave and see your door on a Thursday night. Come in. I had no interest yeah. in being here. Who is saying hi? Brother, uh, uh. Let me just try to explain something. There were there were batters in here that like were nowhere near fat. Oh. These guys were batting like 100, 150. And I was watching like these cheap ass pitchers thrown out home runs like left and right. 
Like, I watched boys in like one, two, three innings in a row just walk out with home runs. And I was just like, man, if I was up at bat tonight, I'm not up at bat right now. If I was up at bat tonight, I would have hit a triple header. I would have I I called my fence. I would have been like Babe Ruth. I'd be like, this one's going over the left wall. This one's going over the right wall. There was so much wool in this spot tonight. You could have knit a sweater. Problem is, is they shaved the wool in the Philippines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no sweaters here. My point is... <laughs> Sorry, man. My point is, tonight was a single man's dream. Who's the secret it? door. Not me. But if you were a single man, you could have just swung your bat and you would have been hitting home runs, bro. Like, Let's go home no more alone. <laughs> the pitchers were giving it up tonight. Sick. Sick night to be a single man in Manila. Yeah. Eh, somebody's got to take one for the team, you know? So I think it's pretty obvious to see why I like going for walks every day. My goodness. All these little sorry, sorry stores. Uh. So we go on these walks. She just ends up buying food at the bakery or the squid guy or whatever and just constantly eating on the walk. I don't know how she stays so damn skinny. What are we eating today, dear? It's a uh, malungkai, spanish-style grilled cheese. Oh, that sounds unhealthy, except for the malungkai. Malungkai. It's the only healthy thing in there. Having a schedule and having a routine has been really working well for us. Starting the day with exercise, nothing too crazy for the warm-up, getting stretched out, getting that range of motion going, and then, of course, calisthenics, right? It's all about weight training. Sometimes it's just body weight. And of course, now that we have the fun new tire, it's body weight training plus. Strength training, calisthenics, cardiovascular, HIIT, the HIT workout. We want to get those heart rates up. There's a lot of cheap spots in and around the Philippines, Makati, BGC. The Perfect Pint is not one of them but it is worth it. You get what you pay for, and they have like 40 beers on tap here, and they're just outrageously delicious and high in uh, alcohol content. Always a treat to hit the perfect time. Paella. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. Paella. 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 <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness. A little too bitter for you? One of our go-to spots is Lips. We really like this bar. It's very chill. Well, most of the time, because it can really get jumping too. That's one of the things we like about it. You can go in here, hang out, play some pool, relax, get a couple of drinks, chill, listen to some good rock music. But if you want to take things up a notch, if you want to make things a little wild, you can just head upstairs. It is probably the most outrageous, girly, go-go bar on the strip. Lips is a lot of fun, guys. Check it out. I hope you got a filter on that bitch tonight. Oh my God. Me and all my bros. Yeah, rolling up P burgers. <laughs> and my bro. United Nations. All right. My solid a gentleman bro. and a scholar. Oh, I wish. Yeah, what a letter I jacket wish. on. Oh I'm liking the 80 degrees outside. Oh my God, you have no idea. I love the white boots. What's, I'm focused. Go take care of my bros. And once again, back at Secret Door. Cause it's pretty much the after hour spot in Manila. Or at least in Makati. And when I got the bros out with me, I'm always taking these guys in to check it out. It is definitely a friendly connection vibe zone if you know what i'm saying i almost forgot the photo shoot i must say 
I never thought I'd be working a tire like this, but I'm digging it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, let's get a little more, a little more of that in there. Yeah, like that. Stay like that. Shut. This was for the Sheen style Philippines corduroy photo shoot. Not all the photos in the shoot were, uh, let's just say, PG. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit that like button if you did. And stay tuned for more coming up from Metro Manila.